welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Robin and I do sewing and crafting tutorials. But today I'm gonna to show you how I store my fabric using these Dollar Tree plates. Okay, what I do first is I fold the fabric to fit the width of this plate. I'm gonna fold my fabric. make sure it's it'll it'll fit on the plate and then i start at one end and i usually fold a little bit of fabric over on the edge and then i just flip it and when i get to the end i have a little make sure i have a little excess and then i always fold this end up like that and then i tuck the fabric inside this little pocket here like that And then you can fold, put it back on the shelf like this. So you can see your fabric on your bookshelf. Okay, I'll show you again. You fold the fabric to fit the width of your plate. And this one I'm using two plates because it's a little heavier fabric. Fold it over and just flip. Flip, flip. And then fold the last little bit and tuck it in. like that and it's ready to go on the shelf. Okay, I'm gonna use two plates again because I'm using this stretchy knit fabric. This is knit. So we just fold it to fit on the plate. And then start here with a little bit over the edge and just keep flipping. Making sure you leave a little bit to fold to tuck in. So just fold that up and over and tuck it in like that. And it's ready to go on the shelf like that. Okay, I'll show you how I put them on the shelf. Okay, and this is how I put them on the shelf. And here's my bookshelf with all my fabric on the paper plates. Some of them are still on the cardboard. I started off with cardboard and after cutting several of those, my hand was killing me. I'm like, there's gotta be an easier way. So I looked for those comic book boards. You can get those, but they were out of stock at the time. So I'm like, I need to find an inexpensive way to put my fabric on this bookshelf. And that's when I thought of Dollar Tree and getting those plates. So you can use comic book board, you can use cardboard, if your hand is up to cutting that much cardboard, or the paper plates from Dollar Tree, the square ones. So just a little tip, thought y'all might like to see this. I'm still working on organizing my sewing room and I will be showing you the reveal of how I transform my sewing room as soon as I finish organizing it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on this video right here. I think you'll like it. Thank you for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.